So after this, we come to one more area that we have talked about this pigment epithelium, we know about rod and cones, we know about bipolar and then ganglion cells and then nerve fiber. Now I want to specially focus the nerve fibers from the ganglion cells, right? The exons, what are their final destinations in central nervous system, right? Let's come to that. <coughs> From the retina, the fibers, where they go in the central nervous system. Let me make the midbrain here. Pons, medulla, midbrain. What is the superior colliculus, inferior colliculus? Right? Here is pretectum nucleus, pretectal nucleus under the superior. Colliculus. And of course, here is third nerve nucleus and there is Dinger Westphal nucleus. You know things like that? Yes. Okay. But here at the top, there must be what is this structure? Thalamus. And let's suppose put here is lateral geniculate body. Lateral? Okay, let me make it again. This is lateral geniculate body, right? And here is, of course, uh, your hypothalamus, interior and posterior pituitary. Is that right? And here is, I will put your beautiful eye. And there is the other eye there. And this is optic. And what is this? Chiasma. Okay, let me make uh, this with different color so it stands out. These are the optic. This is other eyeball. Of course, you remember there are two eyeball. Okay. So here is hypothalamus, and this is what optic. This is optic nerve, optic chiasma, and this is optic track. And this optic track mainly end up into lateral geniculate body. Okay. Lateral geniculate body. Now, and of course, this will also end up on the other side on the lateral geniculate body. Okay, now, and here, what is this structure? This is hypothalamus, this is interior pituitary, posterior pituitary, and mammillary body. Am I clear to this structure? Any question? Anyone who is confused about this diagram? It's clear? Okay. Okay, I will remove this too. So it becomes clear to you. Now, This is hypothalamus. And from lateral geniculate body, from here, this is going optic radiation. This pathway is clear? Yes. And this is the, let's suppose, retina. Retina, and these are the fibers coming. Is that right? Optic nerve, same here. Any question? It's clear to you. Now, what is the destination of fibers from the ganglion cells? From here. First, the classical pathway, the pathway which makes a visual image, the conscious perception of the optical images, right? That pathway, I will make it, okay, with which color, okay. I will make it with the green pathway, okay. This green pathway start from here, from rod and cone, bipolar cell and ganglion cells and this will go to the central nervous system. As you know, some fibers will cross over here, right? First optic nerve, then optic chiasma, then optic track, they finish at lateral geniculate body. Is that right? Ganglion cells exon started from here and reach up to 
lateral geniculate body from here next fiber start and went to the visual cortex where is the calcarine fissure at the occipital lobe is that right i will not go into detail of visual pathway right now i'm just trying to tell that these fibers from ganglion cells where they end up into central nervous system now this information that ganglion cells at central axons through the uh, optic nerve and optic chiasma and optic tract they terminate at lateral geniculate body almost all doctor knows that all good doctor know that this pathway and then from here fibers are eventually projected to the visual cortex there you have the conscious perception of image optical image am i clear but there are other pathways also let me make the other pathway with the green that some of the fibers from here they take information they they cross also they take information and before reaching to the before reaching to the lateral geniculate body they separate and these fibers come to the superior colliculus and pretectal nucleus it means these fibers did not go to lateral geniculate body these blue fibers did not participate into conscious formation of image they took degree of illumination of light and gave this information to the mid brain they did not pass through lateral geniculate body before the lateral geniculate body through the superior brachium these fibers came to the mid brain and they ended up into superior colliculus and pretectal nucleus and they are connected with the adinger westphal nucleus let's suppose this is adinger westphal nucleus and through this parasympathetic fiber go and they will control parasympathetic fibers going to the ciliary ganglion and post uh, ganglionic fibers eventually control the ciliaris muscle and sphincter pupillae so it means these ganglion fibers are giving information at subconscious level to the mid brain to activate the motor pathway for for light reflex and accommodation reflex is that clear for light reflex and also contribute to the accommodation reflex right then one more pathway i will tell green pathways are visual image making pathway this was for accommodation reflex and people then some of the ganglion cells from here they take the information and they go directly to hypothalamus to the supra chiasmatic nucleus in the hypothalamus this is your biological clock this is able to measure day and night by the total stimulation day time is different and total stimulation to this ganglion at night is different or sleep time is different and supra chiasmatic nucleus along with hypothalamus along with pineal gland which is present over here right which releases melanin it controls the circadian rhythm so what did i tell you i was talking about the central destinations of retinal pathway which was actually the only output fiber from the retinal pathway were the axons from red ganglion cells so most of the fibers go to the lateral geniculate body and eventually they activate the pathway uh, which taking information to the signals to the visual cortex for the conscious perception of image some fibers from here this blue pathway go to the of course they also go bilaterally right uh, these fibers because there's in the chiasma there is crossover these blue fibers they reach to the mid brain right and they control the through the superior colliculus and pretectal nucleus and eventually uh, information going to the adinger westphal nucleus they control accommodation reflex and night, night reflex especially pupillary reflexes and ciliaris muscle reflexes then next is that uh, some fibers some of the ganglion cells i told you ganglion cells can also have photoreceptors or photo sensitive pigment or visual pigment and with degree of illumination they are giving firing and these are giving information to hypothalamus to the suprachiasmatic nucleus and that determines the circadian rhythm 
Is that right? 